the bills. Ask anyone and they'll agree, it ain't pretty. Sometimes it's harder than others. Sometimes, like this time, it's all too close to home. And when it's your job, you can't let anything get in your way. But you never know when a rivalry will rear its ugly head. Ah, Alicia. Margaret Malloy, my old boss. Did I ever tell you about the time she fired me? Yes, several thousand times. Um, I mean, yes, you have told me, boss. Anyway, she was a good woman and a good boss. That's why I'm making this my top priority. Move the search for Mrs. Henderson's cat to next month. Done. You know, as much as her death disgusts me, it excites me. You what? Uh, it reminds me of the good old days. Searching for whatever son of a gun did it. The killings. The drugs. The rape. The glory days. Sounds great, boss. It was. But this is now. What have you got? Victim, Margaret Malloy. Female, approximate age, 32. Occupation, Chief of Police. Shot three times with pistol in upper back in unknown bedroom. Next to her lies victim... McClure! What the higgity dick dug are you doing here? I'm here for the murder case, Peterson. What are you and your little floozy doing here? Hey! I asked you first. I know you didn't like the chief since she fired us. What are you talking about? I don't care that the chief fired us. In fact, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. How'd you work that out, you good-for-nothing kumquat? Well, I... Kumquat? Yeah, well, my career has picked up big time. I'm always in the paper, and people regard me as a hero. Yeah, well, my P.I. career has picked up too, you know. What? A disease? And has since died? I mean, it's just tragic, isn't it? Yeah, I didn't know her, but you wouldn't wish that upon anyone, would you? Never in a million years. Hey, I love your nail polish. Is it new? Oh, thanks. I don't know what it is. I found it in Clint's drawer. His drawer? Is he into stuff like that? Yeah, I asked him about it. He said he likes the smell of the nitrocellulose in the morning or something. Do you think he's hiding something? I think he's hiding something. Your presence offends me. Yeah, your face offends me. Good one? I think you should leave. The chief meant the world to me. Yeah, well, I loved her. You what now? Help me. I think we better leave now. Yeah, walking away. Boss. What in the name of all that is sweet and or holy? And look. What the? Do you recognize the number? Yes. Red face. What's he got to do with all this, that no good drug pusher? Oh, rat face. That's no good greasy rat. That's the one. Come on. Let's go. Hey, I forgot my... What the ziggity dick's going on? Excuse me. How did I miss this? Susan, get the camera!
It was a case I'd never forget. Fortunately, the smell of a fine cigar always did help me think. It was late summer and the city had a chill. The kind that will cut right through you like a bullet. Or three. In the back. As was the case of my former boss. But I was confident. I had the lead. He didn't. That's all that mattered. It's times like that that you get to wondering, what is it all about? Damned if I know. All right! Ah, uh, the perfect putt. Ah, Alicia, did I ever tell you about the time I walked down the Cal de Mer and I met? Yes. Huh? You've told me. I did. Please don't tell me again. Anyway, it got me thinking about this case. Something beautiful ruined by corruption. What are you talking about? Whoever did this is going to pay. I'm sure you or Clint will catch them, boss. Yeah, don't mention that jerk's name in here again. Sorry, boss. I'm sure you'll find out who did it first. Oh, yeah. And it starts with Ratface. Ah, yes. I tell you what, I can't wait to get cracking. In fact, I wonder where Ratface is right now. What? At this time of night? Oh, yeah, Alicia. You snooze, you lose. I believe that's Clint Peterson's middle name. Oh, nice one. I like this one. Turn it up. Some cases you don't forget easily. Malloy. How'd she get herself into this mess? Someone had to clean it up before her name got dragged through the mud. Seemed like a good day to quit smoking. Just as well I couldn't find my lighter. The liquor helped me get a grip. I was starting to lose it. It was a clear night and I could see for miles. I just couldn't see where to go next. It's those times when you need someone strong behind you. Someone who could cut through the fog. For me, that was my assistant. Susan Harmon. My, my God, God, she was beautiful. If she wasn't such a good employee, I'd have had my way with her a long time. Oh, God. Hey, Susan. Any luck? Whole thing doesn't make sense. Might as well give up on the whole goddamn thing. Oh? I thought you could perhaps talk to Ratface. That no good slimy hinkadink? What the hell do I want to talk to him for? The dead girl. She had his number in her hand. How the hell do you know this? Um, I saw it in a photo. Really? Which one? Um, this one. You couldn't see it because of your poor eyesight. Got lucky. I knew Ratface would be at the restaurant, clawing his way into somebody else's pocket. It was time to set a rat trap. The Gigi's. I don't know, guys. I don't even like horses. You are a real god, Ratface. What about the football? You don't even bet on that? I don't like that either. You? You don't like a football? I got there just in time to see McClure going in. I thought I'd better hand back and keep an eye on things. Thank God I gave up smoking. That stuff will kill you. I've known you for eight years of that face. Don't be dropping a bombshell on me like that. I, I mean NFL. I, I like soccer. You mean you don't even like your own national game? I think you'd struggle to find anyone that likes him. 
Oh, McClure, come on. I'm having a nice meal with my friends here. Oh, with your friends? Never took you for hanging out with lowlights, Bellini. Needs a master when the devil drives. Pretty profound. Now then, come on, Ratface. I gotta talk to you alone. Oh, come on. You gotta be freaking kidding me, man. I ain't kidding. All right, then. Last Tuesday, I saw you down at the school selling drugs to kids. Shut up. No, you didn't. Drugs? I'm disappointed in you, Ratti. I thought that we had to talk about that. Uh, Mr. McClare, can I call you Jerry? Knock yourself out. Please, excuse me. I think you need to have a chat with Ratti here. Very kind of you, Bellini. Have fun, Ratface. You little bitch. <clears throat> Told you drugs would make you lose your friends, Ratface. I'm not talking to you anymore, cop. I'm not a cop, you idiot. Private detective, whatever, same difference. Uh, I don't want to argue, Ratface, but I uh, genuinely need your help. I'm working to help a friend of mine who meant a lot to me. Come on, I, I'll buy you a drink. Yes, sir? Uh, can I have a bottle of your finest champagne, please? The Ouzé Turd at 800? Make it happen. Certainly, sir. Now look, rap face, buddy. My ex-boss, Margaret Malloy, was murdered tonight. Shot in the back. And she was with someone, also murdered. Now I don't know who they were, but I got a feeling you do. I don't know any dead people. Is that right? How come they had your number in their hand? I don't know. Come on, Ratface. Margaret was a good woman, and she did not deserve to be shot in the back. I don't know the girl she was with. Ah, now you see, who said there was a girl? All right, her name was Jean. Okay, I was, you know. No, I don't know. Supplying her with certain substances. The way you put things disturbs me, Ratface. Drugs, okay? I was supplying her, you know? Nothing serious, you know? But she was moving on to the heavy stuff. Anyway, I mean, she'd fallen from the law at these Spanish classes. How'd you know that? She told me. Anyway, she was getting paranoid about her reputation. Uh, they were planning to run off to Spain or something. But, uh, Jean had come into some money and... Stress was getting to her. Uh, I don't know. That's why she was on the drugs. I see. But who would want him dead? Malloy's husband died years ago. Was anyone with Jean? I don't know. No. Were you with Jean? I wish. What now? No, I... We, no, I wasn't. No. Well, thanks for your help, Ratface. <clears throat> I'll let you enjoy your meal. Your champagne, sir? I couldn't hear anything, so I figured I'd just follow McClure. Still don't know why they call him Ratface. Looks more like a chihuahua to me. What a surprise! Can't follow your own leads because you don't have any. Oh, I'm following a lead, McClure. Oh, is that right? Mm. Well, my suggestion to you is next time you're following a lead, you don't lock your assistant in your car. Damn you to hell, McClure. Damn you to hell. Oh, okay. Thanks. Okay, bye. Yeah, that guy's a real jerk. Oh, don't be like that. He's trying his best. Yeah, well, you don't know him like I know him. Oh, come on, boss. Let's go. Alicia always did have a way with words. She always seemed to be one step ahead of the game. I didn't mind. Just meant that I was two steps ahead. 
I just had to hang back and wait for Ratface. There, there, boss. I've just found out something really interesting. Put a flapjack in your crackerjack, Jack. I want to hear this. See, si, see. Si. Yeah. I don't know what he's on about. Ah. Here comes the little weasel now. Ciao, my friend. Ciao. Hey, Mingo. Hey, come on. Oh, don't be like that, Mingo. Don't blank me like you don't know me. I was put under pressure. Hey, come on, man. It was, I was caught off guard. I was just acting on instinct. I, I did what I thought you'd do. I improvise. No one needs to know. You don't need to tell anyone. You don't need to do nothing. That is a double negative. Get in the car. Oh, come on, man. Just <sighs> I'll tell you. This time I heard every word. Now I knew who to follow. It's Red Face. Let's go. I wasn't sure what I was getting myself into. Following Red Face and Mingo wasn't going to take me anywhere good. What other choice did I have? McClure was always two steps ahead of the game, and I could never seem to catch a break. But perhaps my luck was changing. McClure was nowhere to be seen, and I finally had a lead. You could argue it probably wasn't the best idea to drink and drive. But I couldn't ask Susan to take the wheel. It was too important. I swear there are times I could see myself driving. It was weird. But it got me to reminiscing. Hard to believe we were once partners. Back up to here! I can't believe there was just no hair! Nothing! Talk about Julius Caesar! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the wind! If the wind hit it, whoa! <laughs> you know? <laughs> but that's why I hit the woman! Oh, right! Because of the guy with his no. hairline! <laughs> it like... wasn't my fault! It wasn't my fault! <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, no yeah. hair! No hair! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. Clint, like. Jerry, thanks for coming in. I don't know how to say this. This is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. And if I could take the fall myself, I would. But the pressure on me right now won't allow it. I don't, uh, know what you're getting at. You planted drugs on someone. I didn't. Nor did I. Well, maybe you didn't, but someone is shouting their mouth off and someone has to be the fall guy. I can't just fire one of you, so I'm sorry. Both of you have to go. But if... No ifs, no buts. It was good while it lasted, but as it stands, both your police careers in this department are over. Effective immediately. I can't believe you threw this over a hairline, man! You're so out of control with your damn hair obsession! I got hair, you got hair, just because people don't have hair doesn't mean get some friends to kill my face! My face! You need to calm the freak down, man! What is this? It got me angry, but I had to focus. It was game time. And I was up to bat. Where the hell are they going? So come on, Ratface. What did you say? Let's not wreck the party, eh? I, I didn't say any names, if that's what you mean. Well, I, I didn't say your name anyway. You did not say any names. I might have mentioned Gene. You got them, idiot. I had to give him something. He's always on my case. Why don't you, uh, take a seat?
So what happens now, boss? We need to uh, clear up this mess. Starting with... You. Face that no good murdering hoot nanny. Hmm. Why don't you take another look? Yeah, wrong again, Peterson. Why don't you run on home? Wait. It was Mingo? Course it was Mingo, you idiot. Guys, keep it down. Oh, you'll get caught. Don't call me an idiot. Well, if the fedora fits, idiot. I'll show you how well it fits. Oh, yeah? Oh, that's it. That's it. You're going down. You're going downtown. You're both going down. Put your hands up in the air like you just don't care. Just put your hands up. Step inside and join the party. I knew you were bad, Mingo. But murder bad? That's pretty bad. Yeah? So, double murder. Double? Sorry, I think he meant triple. Triple? Oh, Ratti. Lui che non teme la morte, muore una sola volta. But I guess he had it coming. Just like you, Mingo. Bellini, looks like your boys have been up to no good. See, si. it seems you may be right, Jerry, my friend. But then, I'm afraid I have some very bad news for you. Damn it, McClure, I can't believe you got me fired again. I mean, fired at again. I mean, fired, lit, you literally got me fired. Hey! Easy, you two. You want me to a uh, cap them, boss? Easy, Mingo. All in good time. All I want to know is, why'd you kill Margaret, Mingo? Me? Him? Ha! You disappoint me, Jerry. It, it was you? Steady on, my friend. The girl! In the bed! She was your girlfriend? My wife! Wait. What? Wife? Si. Jean Conte. She didn't take my name. But she didn't have any trouble taking my money. But then... She took liberties. I went a bit too far. I know she'd been with other men. But hey, I've been with plenty of women. But when she started to see a woman, uh, and that woman was the chief of police, mm, no, nobody makes a fool out of Stefano Bellini. Malloy! Ah! I only went there to kill Malloy, but when I saw Jean lying there, there was no going back. They say that all is fair in love and war. 
So I guess it's only fair that love should end the war. That's quite far enough. And we've heard enough. <laughs> nice jab, sis. I've been on the punch bag for the last fortnight. Can I just say, it's paid off. Mum will be proud. Hold the phone. What in the name of Alexander Graham Bell? You guys are sisters? That's what makes you the best detectives. I'll call it in. Good work, guys. But we're never going to be able to get these guys to confess before a court. Clint, check your coat. I put it in there. You know, just in case. So wait. I solved it? I mean, we solved it, partner. Partner. Call it in. They say behind every successful man is a woman. Only this time there were two, and they were sisters. You gotta hand it to him. They solved the case, wrapped it up neat and tidy, but still wouldn't take the credit. From that point onwards, things were different. What happened in the past didn't seem to matter anymore. A clean slate, a new team on a new route. We didn't know where it would lead us, but things were looking up. Hey, you could work. Hey, I just got the call. Bellini's been sent down for 75 years, and Mingo for 20. Streets will be a little safer now. Especially with the newest crime fighting duo in town. I'm so glad you guys were able to sort everything out. Me too. Shame about all the murdering, though. Yeah, that's right. Did I ever tell you about the time yes. I... Yes! <laughs> hey, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.